stretch your back up. Feel the vertebrae separate. Imagine that your head is attached to a helium balloon, pulling it upright. And then on the next deep exhalation, allow all the muscles to just relax. The head can remain floating. And the back can remain gentle and soft and yet fully supported. Keep your eyes closed and take one more deep breath. And on the exhalation, exhale any thoughts about what's happened already today or what's going to happen later in the day. On the next exhalation, pick, picture any, any expectations that you have for this meditation, this group, anything that you hope to get from this, and let all of that be expelled with the breath. And with the next exhalation, Take all of the tensions in the body, all of the stresses, everything you've been holding on to, and just resolve to let it go. What we're going to be looking into today is a feeling of happiness. A lot of us get into the spiritual path and doing the kind of practices that we do because we have an idea that unending, unbridled happiness is the goal of the spiritual pursuit. But we often have a false idea of what this looks like. And often we feel like still some things need to be a certain way for us to feel that sense of happiness. Like we have to earn it or deserve it. Or that having things like a broken car, a broken foot, or going through a divorce, all have to be something that have to be left behind or not in your current experience for you to truly be happy. The real goal of spiritual practice is the equanimity to find happiness and contentment in any situation. So what I have for you today is a very simple exercise, and it's something which I would suggest you to try to do any moment throughout the day. Because like all of our inquiries, this is best done when you are integrating this practice into your life. It's great to have meditations where you sit on a cushion and experience transcendental states for hours. That's fine. But if when you get off of the cushion, it doesn't impact what you bring to the rest of your day, then it's of limited value. So everything that we do is about the embodiment and integration of this of these insights and this wisdom into our daily experience. So what I would like for you to do is to feel into the body. And when I say feel into the body, I want you to get acquainted with all of the physical sensations that are happening. Now, to start with, we're going to just walk through a couple sections so that you can get finely tuned to certain areas of the body. But ultimately, when we do this, you can do it as a snapshot of the entire body, all of the sensations all at once. But to begin with, I'd like you to bring your attention down to your belly. And just take note of any sensations that are there, whether they are uncomfortable, comfortable, neutral, positive, negative, whatever connotations you have about them, just feel the sensations that are in the belly. We don't need to label what they mean right now. 
You don't need to think of them as part of an emotion or part of a digestive issue. It's just a sensation in the belly. And then bring your attention up to the sternum, around the diaphragm, center of the chest, center of the torso, that area, and see what's happening there. We're not trying to change anything. We're not pushing anything away. We're craving more of it. We're just being aware and observing. Now bring the attention up into the chest, around the heart center. Feel further out around the rib cage. Perhaps even the upper back, front of the chest. Shoulders. Just make note of anything that feels like movement, buzzing, contraction, tensing, lightness, energy, effervescence, whatever it is, just feel it as it is. Now bring your awareness up to the throat and all around the neck. And then move up to the jaw. The lips, the mouth. Feel into the nose, the area behind the nose and the sinuses. Everything that's happening around the eyes. And that space behind the eyes. All around the top of the head. sides of the ears, in the back of the head, again, just noting any sensations that are there. Now, if while you were doing this, you were also seeing images of these parts of the body, that's perfectly fine. We want to be aware of the physical sensations that we're experiencing, but oftentimes we have this unconscious visual representation of everything that we're paying attention to. Like the mind is trying to locate the body parts in space and create a sense of um, perspective and proprioception so that we know approximately where our left ear is as opposed to our right hand. It's all fine, but it's also really good to be aware if this is happening. So what I would like for us to do now is to take the entire experience of the body, all of those sensations that we just felt, and also being aware as you feel them if you are noticing any of those mental images, if we take in the entire body as a whole, you might notice that you're actually seeing images of the entire body. Or if you find your attention being pulled to the belly or to your jaw or to your chest, you might see images of those also spontaneously appearing. So for the next minute or so, I would like you to just take an overall snapshot of what is happening in the body, all of the physical sensations, and any mental images that seem to correspond with them. You can do this now. And 
Notice if your attention is being pulled from place to place, or if you're able to maintain an overall snapshot of the totality of the sensations in the body. Okay, good. So this has all been a bit of a preamble. The actual practice is as follows. I want you to take note again of the entire snapshot of the body, all of the felt sensations. And for just a moment, I want you to also notice if there's a label that goes with it. And this label probably has some sort of an emotional tone to it. So what I mean is, as you're feeling all of these physical sensations in the body, and you're noticing any mental images that correspond to it, notice if there is an emotional overlay that says, this is a feeling of peace and tranquility, or this is a feeling of unease and boredom. This is a feeling of being lonely. This is a feeling of depression. This is a feeling of being a little bit annoyed at something that somebody said to me earlier today that I still haven't quite gotten out of my mind. This is a feeling of something, whatever it is, just notice that sensation, however it arises in the body. And notice that this is what you take as that emotion. This snapshot, the way that the body is right now, is the image, the snapshot, the felt three-dimensional um, image of what that emotion seems to be. So locking that in, getting a sense of what you're actually experiencing, I want you to just step back from a moment and take that label off and just be with the sensations. And while you are sitting with just the sensations and perhaps those images or that emotional tone that still seems to be there, I want you to ask, how do I know that this is not happiness? And I don't mean this as a question for your mind to try to puzzle out. You're not taking this apart and comparing this to the sensations that you know are happiness. I want you to just recognize the sort of koan nature of that question and just ask, how do I know that this is not happiness? And simply allow the attention to be on all of the sensations that are in this snapshot for the next few minutes we're not pushing away or disregarding these sensations. We're not imposing a sense of dislike or needing for them to change. We are simply allowing them to be as they are, taking off the label of depression or loneliness or anger, and just being with the sensations in a way where we're questioning why, how do I know that this is not happiness? See what happens to the sensations as you pay attention to them like this. If you hear a voice in your mind trying to answer the question, 
Just let it go and come back to the sensations. Are the sensations staying the same or are they changing? Do they seem to be melting in some way or constantly morphing from one thing to something new? You might even notice that the emotional tone seems to be changing. The more attention that you place on them, the sensations change, but you might notice that the emotional tone that was heavy or depressed or irritated or uncomfortable in some way starts to be losing its valence losing its negative bias. You might even start to feel lightness, tingling, things that you take to be the hallmark of happiness or joy. If that happens, just allow it to be there and enjoy the transition. Other thoughts are intervening and pulling you away from just being with the sensations or continuing to reinforce the stories about the original emotional tone. Just notice that they're there and come back to the raw sensations. Now, if you have automatically melted from some sort of classically negative emotional tone into something closer to happiness, wonderful. And if you haven't, that's perfectly fine too. But if you could for a moment, just for the sake of this exploration, bring to mind something which can maybe spark a bit of that happy feeling. Put a little smile on the face, Bring a little lightness so that you can feel that sensation that we take to be happiness. And because we are striving to not be locked into one side of anything, we don't want to be caught in the identification of striving for happiness or pushing it away. We don't want to get locked into the definitions of anything. We want to also recognize that what we take to be happiness might not be what we think it is either. 
So feeling this positive sensation that's here, feeling the lightness, the tingling, however you have in the past defined happiness, I would like for you to also just feel the sensations and take the label happiness off of it, just like we took off the other labels. And just be with it to see where this actually lands. What happens to these sensations, even these effervescent, joyful, blissful, loving feelings? What happens to them when we just remain with the raw sensation? Take some time to try that now. Everyone's experience will probably be a little different. And that's obviously fine, but just notice what's happening. If you're feeling like it's actually amplifying the feelings of happiness and joy, so be it. If you feel like those valences, those emotional tones, even of the positive emotions, start to fade away, and you start to be left with just an openness about the sensations, then that's also wonderful. Again, if thoughts seem to be intervening here, then just notice that this is happening, let them go, and come back to the sensations. What you might find is that without attaching any labels onto these sensations, without putting any sort of stories to the emotional tone that seems to be there, even those happy sensations might resolve to something closer to a still contentment, an absolute ease it doesn't necessarily need to change or do or be anything other than it is. It's like a point of stability. So this practice that I'm suggesting in its daily use would be to just notice at any point throughout your day, particularly if you're feeling something uncomfortable, irritating, sad, or distressing, take a moment to immediately strip the label, the name of the emotion away from it, be with the sensation itself, and ask in that moment, how do I know that this is not happiness? You can also ask, how do I know that this is not contentment? And then simply sit with those sensations, and it may only take seconds once you get used to it, for them to completely change, because all of those associations that you have put upon them with the labels are gone. All of the ideas that we have about 
depression, sadness, anxiety, misery, happiness, joy, love, contentment, bliss. All of those are ideas that we put onto a specific hallmark of a sensation or a group of sensations. And what we're doing in this practice is simply questioning all of them all the time. Is what you are actually experiencing the thing that you think you are experiencing? Or is it simply this? And does this need to change in any way for you to be okay? So much of what we take to be the discomfort or unacceptability of sensations that we accompany or that we believe accompany um, classically negative emotions are not themselves any more uncomfortable or irritating than the sensations that we experience with classically positive emotions. We just have a bias towards them because we have a connotation that we're associating with them. This way here, we get to just see that sensations themselves are absolutely fine as they are, and nothing ever needs to change. So again, in short, at any point throughout the day, check in with the body, feel what's there, strip off the label, and inquire into why you know that this is not contentment or this is not happiness, and just sit with it until it proves that actually it can be. There is no distinction there. When there is no thought about it, when there is no story, then there is no emotional valence that creates a problem for us. There is only equanimity there. You can come back into whatever sensations are happening in the body, in the feet, in the bottom, and take another deep breath, and then slowly open your eyes.